Um, it's an honor. Um, it's an honor to be here to represent the Buckeyes. Um, you know, um, like you said, uh, it's just it's a dream come true. Um, since I was younger, I always um, dreamed to be in this position, and for me to be here is just a blessing. And you know, I give it to God, and hopefully, I can just keep going from here. <laughs> oh, it means a lot. It means, you know, the university that it cares. Uh, Columbus is a great place uh, for business and NIL. So, you know, that would definitely be a special opportunity um, to get that done. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea why it was 13. Um, every off season, I always uh, get try to get bigger, faster, stronger. Um, uh, get in the room with Coach Hardline and you know go over some stuff. Uh, um, but yeah, just that and uh, maturity level. I feel like the game just slows down. Um, I feel like the last game of the season, you know, just just taking the time and to to recap. Um, it just I feel like it slows me down and slows the game down. So. Yeah, I feel like uh, that would be a, a big advantage for me going into this year. The process, um, yeah, uh, well, uh, for me, I have a good team around me and uh, uh, usually businesses uh, or whatever, they uh, reach out to, you know, my team. And, um, you know, sometimes it's an all-day process. Um, sometimes, you know, it's a quick, you know, post or something like that, um, which is uh, very beneficial. But, you know, um, yeah, we're just in a great place. When I, you know, I try to not let it distract me. I try not to uh, overwhelm myself with it, um, you know, because I just like to stick to the main focus, which is, you know, football and winning a national championship. But, um, yeah, we're in good space. Yeah. Um, I have to go back to my team. Uh, they just do a great job planning, planning the day for me. Uh, you know, got to get to workouts, you know, in the morning, got to get to class, you know, after that. And then, you know, I'm usually, you know, some days I'm free and, um, those are the days, um, you know, we come together and talk about it. if, you know, we want to do it all day, then we do it all day. And, um, yeah, it's been good. <laughs> yeah, he, he makes a pretty good mac and cheese, not going to lie. Um, but, yeah, just speaking on that, uh, I feel like this team has been way closer, like relationships. We've been doing like a lot of stuff outside um, the football field, which has been good. And I feel like it's brought us together more for sure. Yeah, um, we'll just, you know, call up the guys and, you know, grill out and, you know, just stuff like that. It's really just a simple things, you know, uh, you know, that, you know, friends do, uh, brothers do. But, like, when you're in the woody for so long all day, you know, sometimes it get overwhelming. You just want to go home and just take a nap and see you tomorrow. But, you know, just spending those, you know, quality time talking about, you know, other stuff and, you know, relaxing, you know, it's been good for us. And, and um, a lot of people have opened up, you know, to, to, to others. And, you know, I feel like we're, we're creating a, a good bond here. Uh, I think it kind of happened naturally. Um, just coming off of the season last year, we didn't, we weren't where we wanted to be, and uh, you know, we we looked at ourselves and asked what what can change that, and you know, that's a piece that can change, and um, you know, so we're just we're just trying to make this thing right in all areas. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Exactly, all that, all that stuff's a mix. Just exactly, COVID, COVID really messed a lot of things up. Um, you know, it, it was go to the facility, go home. <laughs> you know, but uh, now that things, you know, are opening up more, where we get the chance to do that. 
<laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like we've we've pushed each other um, way more. Coach Mick Marotti does a great job in the off season, um, and he and he's back to his old ways, so to speak. Um, COVID again messed that up. Um, there was a lot of regulations, a lot of rules, you know, certain hours. But now, like, since it, you know, kind of opened up back to normal, I feel like we're back, you know, to, you know, how things used to run um, in the off season. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not going to put any limit to that. Uh, you know, we go on the field, we try to score every possession. And, um, and yeah, uh, we're, we're just looking forward to the challenge of being the best and holding, holding to that standard. Um, all around, um, for sure. Uh, offense, so to speak. Uh, I mean, we can be better all around. Um, uh, you know, I could be better all around. <laughs> oh yeah yeah um during this off season when he's done he kind of lives with me which is like towards the end of the the playoff run but yeah it's been it's been great um we have always dreamed about this since we're like little kids like three years old playing knee football in the living room mom mad all that stuff but you know it's a dream come true you know He's one of my heroes, um, guides me real well. I mean, just, you know, set the standard for me and tell me how great I am or tell me how bad I am um, all the time. So, you know, for him to be in my ear is the reason why I'm here today, one of the reasons why I'm here today. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, when I came to visit him, um, um, we we went to some restaurant I can't remember. It was pretty good, but um, Dewan's uh, family lives here. His grandma. I'm I'm trying to make it to to his grandma's house so I can get a plate before I leave. But we'll see. <laughs> I mean, Cam Bab's been always been you know one of our leaders, and we always look to Cam Bab you know for advice because. We just have so much respect, and uh, we know how much work and how deserving he is. Um, so, you know, to have someone like that, um, for me, I mean, this year I'm going to be leaning on Ken Bab a lot because, you know, just the person he is, his his hard work, and, you know, um, ready to see him on the field. You know, he's healthy, he's back, he looks great. Um, you know, I'm excited. His ceiling's, his ceiling's really high, so, you know. When when Cam Babs in there, uh, the whole team, you know, it, we're gonna light up. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't mind at all. Yep, yep. He's he was back this spring. He's been he's been full go. He's ready to go. Oh, I mean, <laughs> big time, big time. Um, we don't accept that uh, really, but it, it, it's unacceptable um, to us. So, um, you know, it's definitely a focus point. It's definitely something that we hear a lot. And um, um, yeah, uh, it's a big, it's a big motivator for us. Oh, I mean, <laughs> everywhere. I, it's a, you know, it's a two respectable teams, uh, the best rivalry uh in the game uh probably sports so yeah you're gonna hear about it <laughs> oh uh for sure um Jaden Ballard has been looking really good um been looking really impressive he's really coming into himself um haven't been able to see the freshmen too often we're about to get some pads on so to see those guys but you know our, our room is pretty stacked 
Um, you know, we got we got Emeka Abuka that's gonna come on the scene this year. He's a great he's a great talent. Uh, Julian Fleming, of course. And like I said, Cam Bab. Um, you know, um, we're gonna we have a room this year for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's Ohio State. Uh, great guys leave. You know, uh, great guys come in, and we're ready to prove ourselves prove ourselves and uh the young guys are ready to prove themselves um coming in and you know they're great players and they're ready for it um yeah just the um to, to show what you have you know what i'm saying like when you get on the field when you're on the stage and uh no one's really seen seen you before like that um you have that hunger for sure Uh, nah, I mean, it is what it is. I don't really look into stuff like that, for real. Um, uh, Jordan Addison, he's a great player. He, he definitely had a great year and deserved that. Um, if it was me, I would have gave it to uh, Garrett or Chris, honestly. Um, but, um, or not, Jameson Williams, for real. Um, yeah, for real. Um, but, yeah, nah, but, I mean, he uncontrollable. I try to control the things I can control. I mean, hopefully we'll get it this year. Yeah. Devontae Smith. Yeah, we started watching his film immediately. <laughs> uh, we started getting into the coach's ears immediately and and telling them what we saw. Um, I see it in person my uh, first year in the Natty. And, um, yeah, a great player. Um, and, yeah, definitely motivation as a receiver. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I feel really close with Coach Harlan. I know a lot of the guys do, so – and and he knows me real well um just like you know all the players he recruited but yeah he just he knows he knows um he knows when i'm doing bad or when i'm doing good or when i'm better uh he knows the standard to hold me at and he pushes uh me there he pushes me every day um to get there uh to be the best in the nation um for our core to be the best in the nation so um yeah, without him, it, it would be really be hard. I mean, he he put this room, he moved this room to you know, um, receiver you they would say, it's on six. Oh yeah, oh yeah, he's the he's the guy. He he does the dirty work for sure. Um, you know he's he's always in my ear. That's my guy. Um, he's gonna tell the offense. He's gonna you know tell CJ, tell the guys you know what you're gonna see. Just extra. It's a guy, I mean, Coach Key, it's not even a label you can put on him. Um, he's really like a big bro that, you know, looks out for us and um, going to give us everything, all the tools we need to be successful. Yeah, um, I like to uh, – try to be creative so yeah just work on my creativity um which is fun because I can just do that sitting on the couch in my mind too but like yeah uh, I've had tr tried some like you know new things you know new releases new there you know there's stuff you know I can always improve on um I like to work on my overall game um and uh yeah just see where that takes me Uh, it's been a, I'm a big NIL fan. Um, <laughs> I'm a big NIL fan. Um, um, but yeah, it has changed. Um, you know, don't got to worry about, you know, a lot of things, but you know, it comes with a lot. You just got to be prepared. You got to be, have a good team around you, have a good head. Um, you know, make sure you're not doing too much. I mean, is what I would say. I mean, I just like to even it out, make sure, you know, everything's being ra uh, ran well, but um, yeah, I have a good team that take care of all of that, and yeah, it's been a, a big blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I remember uh, going up to a camp uh, to meet Coach Alexander and at Notre Dame. Um, yeah, uh, I looked at uh, when I was younger. I believe I looked at Notre Dame. I mean, they're they're a great program. Um, have a great culture there. So, um, once I was locked on Ohio State, though, uh, it was over after that, and I committed pretty early my junior year. Notre Dame does? Oh, okay. No, nah, no. Nah. It's, it's pretty smart. We get, we got some good athletes down in Texas, so that's good for them. Yeah, I actually wasn't I wasn't here at that game. I had uh COVID that game, so I missed it, but I I was definitely watching. Um he's a a great player who makes a a good a great play. So, um I'm looking forward to that matchup. It's going to be fun. Um you know, just a, a a good defense versus a good offense. I mean, first season opener, you know, under the lights, it's going to be fun. Uh, nah, <laughs> everything. Yeah, a lot of fights with my brother, uh, my roommate Corbin Cleveland. We go at it versus everything. Me and CJ go at it versus everything. Yeah, I, I, I hate to lose, and I, I just want to be the best at everything, even when I'm not. I think I am, so it doesn't matter. I'm trying it. I actually was just on a simulator and was hitting the best swings of my life. I swear, it's weird. Yeah, come on, Garrett. Yeah, I see. I've done that before, too, not going to lie. But, yeah, that's dangerous. Um, just new goals that I set for myself, um, higher goals that are harder, that I have to, I have to stay focused. I have to stay level headed or I know I'm not going to reach those goals. And we fell short, um, as a team last year, um, not making it to the playoffs, not making it to the, uh, natty. So, I mean, I feel like I haven't, I feel like I haven't really done anything. I feel like I haven't really won anything. Um, so this year, hopefully, I'm looking for a change. So I know I have to work to get there. So that's my mindset. Yeah, he was a skinny kid. He was a skinny kid. Um, I remember I wasn't on the same team as him, but I remember just uh, hearing him. Uh, Julian Fleming would come to me. He was like, hey, we got a receiver. I mean, a, a quarterback that's top notch like but he doesn't know where he wants to go and stuff like that and I remember watching him and you know he had an arm he had an arm on him and um we just we just met and talked and you know he was a cool dude and uh said he didn't really know where to go uh where he wanted to go yet and you know Julian and G Scott um you know talked to Coach Day and you know made it happen yeah yeah, uh, we've been traveling everywhere um, together. Actually, um, after after the last game, we just been going everywhere. Just been hanging out. Um, he came to Dallas. I went to L.A. You know, to see his family, stuff like that. Just hanging around, and you know, that's that's my boy. That's my brother. So, you know, we just you know kick it, and I feel like you know it does translate on the field a little bit. Do I enjoy it? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. <laughs> Somet oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like, um, well, it, it's, it hasn't been like this, but usually I, you know, am pretty good about that. Um, probably too good, my mom says. I don't answer the phone sometimes and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean... I feel like, you know, I have a good team. I have a good support system, you know, to put me back in my place, you know, my dad especially. So um, I feel like I'm pretty good at it.
Oh yeah, for sure. Um, you know, you know, people. We have the best offense in the nation, and you know, people watch that, and people, you know, want to come out and get you. They don't want you to have over 50 yards, one catch ball. So, you have to be. You have to be creative. Um, you have to. That's how you. Um, I feel like you know, stay. Uh, are the best, you know, you, you give different looks and, you know, Coach Harline does a great job with that and, and, and preparing me and showing me, uh, Coach Keenan Bailey too, uh, you know, and um, yeah, and it's fun to work on because I love the game and I, lear I love to like learn something new and I feel like my mind's always working. So, you know, it's, it's a, it's all, the off season's always a fun time of year for me. Yeah. It was a dream come true. It was a dream come true. Um, you know, that's something we've talked about all of our life, all our lives. And, um, you know, for that to happen, it, it was like a movie for uh, I can't even explain it. Um, but it, it just seems right for some reason. It just seems right. Um, bottom of the ninth, you know, two outs left. He's the last. They put him in and he hits a double. Like, you know, it, it just makes me proud. It makes me, you know, want to get to where he's at. And um, you know, just grow. I mean, it's it's a blessing. Yeah, he, kept rights. He, he, <laughs> he definitely got bragging rights. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I mean, when the when your season's over, so to speak. Uh, you look back and ask why and, you know, and what you could have done wrong. And um, that's a game where we can pull a lot of things from. And, you know, you just see the scoreboard and that's motivation. You don't really need too much, you know, um, but we're going to talk about it. We're going to speak on it and, uh, you know, um, grow off that and hopefully come back, you know, with a, with a different outcome. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I I think I mean I think it did. Um. I think it did. Um, because you know it was a different a different outcome that we've seen in a in a minute. So, you know, when something like that happens, um, yeah, it kind of shakes it up. So, yeah. Uh, what? Someone videoed it? Uh, I, uh, it's going to take me a little minute. It's sad, too, because, you know, I'm from Texas. All my friends got trucks and stuff, so they're going to be clowning me. Hopefully that doesn't get out for real. Thanks. Thanks. I mean, I think I think it will be cool. Um, you know, you get guys, you know, from Cali. I mean, you know, there's some Cali guys that come, like we're coming up here, but you know, it'll definitely, you know, mix it around some athletes, some more. I feel like, and uh, you know, I think it'll be good, um, competitive. Um, I don't really know. I don't know if I'll be playing in that or not, but you know, it'll be fun to watch. Uh, definitely growth. I feel like the coaching staff that came in have um, done a great job. I feel like uh, they're more confident. I felt that in the spring, and uh, we're going to see fall camp. I mean, we got some really talented guys um, that are eager and ready to play and ready to um, prove a lot of people wrong, and um, they're coming with that fire. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, it's become I mean it's it's a process. Um 
it's a process. Um, you know, you just I kind of like it to be like a natural thing and a feel. Um, so it's definitely becoming like more natural. You know, um, last year, you know, we had older guys, you know, I, you know, I like to prove myself um, and, and, and know that, you know, I can help you and they feel that. And, you know, um, it's been good. But, yeah, I feel like it's been natural. You know, it's just you, I want my team to be successful. And I feel like it takes more than just, you know, the first team it takes the second team, third team to be the best team in the nation. And um, I got it for me to carry that message. I got to. I got. I can do better always, but you know, for me to have that role to carry that message, you know, it's an honor. I'm and I'm looking forward to it, and I feel like the guys have responded well to it. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, summer workouts. You know, with with Coach Mick definitely does that to you. It's gonna bring you know some fire out, you know, to you, and he's he's um, giving me the chance, you know, to speak in front of the team. Uh, more and uh, for me to be, uh, I'm getting more comfortable with that role and yeah, um, I feel like it's going to grow from there. Um, Joey, um, he's a great player, um, a big physical um, corner. Um, I feel I feel like he's one of the best, if not the best, in the Big Ten for sure, or in the nation for sure. Um, much respect. Um, but yeah, you know, you're gonna have to bring your A. I'm gonna have to bring my A game. My team's gonna have to bring my um, their A game every year versus Penn State. Um, they're a great team, so it's all it's usually a dog fight. And you know, um, those are the matchups I love the most, though the 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 good ones, the yeah, the good ones. That's the one I love the most. So especially at Penn State this year. It's going to be a fun matchup, and I'm looking forward to it. Right, right for sure. Uh, his role definitely going to grow this year. I mean, just, just naturally. Um, and he's a great player. Showed great flashes, kick return. Um, when he got the ball sometimes, um, you know, when he when he got in, you know, he did something with it, uh, made the most of his opportunities, which that's all you can ask for a young guy. So I feel like, um, you know, he's built that trust to where um, he's going to he's going to be in there. And, you know, the whole team trusts him to make a play. And, you know, he's going to have more opportunities to do that. Yeah. Yeah, he he's a uh, he's a um, not he's like he's like a machine like um, catches everything uh, sure-handed for sure um, great hand-eye coordination uh, run great routes um, yeah uh, gives good body language to the quarterback I feel like he's a, a easy target to throw to that's you know to, to get some catches so um, he does a great job with that. Yeah, he was definitely the more polished ones coming out of the high school for sure. I seen that day one with uh, Mech. Oh yeah, I mean just time. You know what time does to you, and uh, um, I've seen him put in. I put I seen him put in you know countless hours of work and stuff like that, um, but yeah, um, I feel like we've all changed. Um, I feel like one of his best things that he's going to show is that he's a more mature quarterback. I mean, makes the right decisions and stuff like that. So, which is a big deal, you know, as a quarterback. And um, yeah, he he he's definitely more mature. I would say. Yeah, he's healthy. He he's ready. Yeah. Um, he makes plays. Uh, when the ball's thrown his way, he's gonna he's gonna make the play. Um, sure, sure-handed grabber. Um, like I said, big physical dude. Um, um, yards after catch, I feel like will be um, big for him too. Um, yeah, he, he's a great he's a great player. <laughs> a little bit. What? Yeah. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. Nah, nah, nah. That's funny. Going back to the CJ for a second, how has your relationship kind of grown this offseason? Obviously, the Rose Bowl was huge for you guys. How did you guys kind of build off that? 
Yeah, um, just, you know, being off the field with him a lot, um, you know, going places, you know, just hanging around each other. We've been a- around each other a lot, and, um, you know, our our, French, our friendship has grown, you know, over this time, and I feel like, you know, that will carry on to the field, um, you know. You know, the love of the brotherhood is real at Ohio State, and, you know, I love all my guys, and, you know, we're, we're going to be ready to battle this year. Um, you know, I feel like we're going to bring, you know, a different style than, you know, Chris and Garrett. I mean, those are two unique players that are really good. And I feel like Marvin and I are unique too. But, um, I mean, we're just, we're just willing to accept the challenge and, you know, and we're ready for it. It's going to be fun. Yeah, uh, Coach Mix definitely got him right in the weight room, uh, physical, um, speed too. And, um, you know, he puts countless hours of work. So, um, you know, we have all trust in Marv, for real. You can't guard Marv. Oh, um, up front uh, with them, you know, they have a, a great up front, physical, uh, fast up front. Um, you know, the defense runs the ball real well. Um, you know, they're very disciplined, um, I feel like. And, uh, you know, they got some few things in the scheme and stuff like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, great defense versus a great offense. You know, it's going to be fun. Oh, yeah. Two rich programs under the light. First game of the season, 100,000. I mean, there's not much I can really say after that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got to bring your A game. Um, You got to – it's not just, you know, know, a walkthrough. Um, It's going to be big. The anticipation is big. And, you know, we, we love games like that. Um, we love the big games. I mean, I feel like that's when we play our best. And, yeah, uh, you know, you want to get an extra rep or two, you know, um, when, you, when you know you're playing a, a good team that's going to come out there and try to beat you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, we talk about it every day. We, we know it's coming. Um, we know it's coming, and we just want to be ready for it. Oh yeah, um, the worst feelings losing in your home stadium. Like it, it just didn't feel right, and I never want that to happen again. I don't want to take any more losses, but you know, just it didn't stick with me too well. But yeah, that's that's a game that really kills me too. Um, um, wish I could get that back, but um, yeah, definitely a lesson. Going to take a lesson from that, and you know, uh, apply it to this season. Right, yeah, Coach Mick has done a, a – I feel like he's back, so to speak, because of the COVID year was so – was weird. So, you know, the off season has been, you know, really tough and, you know, different, probably the toughest off season that I had to uh, go through um, just because, you know, you know, things are kind of, you know, back to normal and stuff like that. And, um, yeah, there's there's no stopping, really. Right. Um, just the you know, just the way um just the way that they got him the ball, you know, you know, the creative stuff, but you know, our we're we're Coach Day, you know, he's a creative, you know, offensive genius, so 
Um, you know, we, we, it wasn't, uh, we came to them. I mean, we just kind of discussed it, so to speak, and uh, said that we're going to be, you know, we're going to be creative. I mean, you know, you don't have to really push Coach Day too much. He, he's going to get the job done. Yeah, I hear a lot of things. <laughs> I hear a lot of things, but you know, I'm focused. You know, I'm I'm focused on winning a national championship. That's my that's my main focus. I've always tried to focus on you know the common goal because if I get into that, I'll I'll be everywhere. I mean, um, I just want to focus on winning a national championship, and then you know whatever comes with that comes with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nah. I mean, it probably does sound crazy to a lot of people, but we've always talked like that, and we've always, you know, wanted to prove it, and you know, proved it, or are, you know, proven it, and it's been fun. But you know, you know, it's an older brother talk, but I feel like it's real talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, I I trust in the work. I know I put in a lot of work, so um, you know I I got a chip on my shoulder. I'm ready to prove um, prove me right, and you know get after it. Um, there's a lot to prove. Um, I feel like um, just stamping just stamping the the confident the confidential whatever you think you know just stamping that what you think of me. Um, that's a lot. You know, that's a lot to prove. <laughs> yeah. Um, how does that change anything that I'm doing? Um, I, I just got to dig, dig deeper into myself and who I am and, um, you know, what I can, you know, um, show on film, you know, do on the field. And, um, you know, I think I'm the best, so I got to work like it. And, you know, I'm just trying to do that. I just try to take it day by day. You know, I don't I don't know. Right. Right. Yeah, I mean, I feel like, you know, the best, you know, experience that and go through that. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, it's not the same stage, dealt with it before, you know, in high school or whatever. But, you know, I trust in the offense, you know, and if they want to do that, you know, we got we got guys to, you know, make plays and I want to win uh, more than anything. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm fine with whatever as long as we winning. Which game? Uh -huh. uh, it was sickening. It was bad. Uh, it was bad. Um, it didn't feel, I mean, it didn't feel real. I mean, I, we were, you know, we always thought we were just going to go to the playoffs and boom. Um, we were, we were too con not too confident, but, I mean, we were just so sure of it. And I feel like, you know, you know, we're going to learn from that for sure. Yeah, I mean, we don't, we know who we are and we know what, you know, we're going to show. Um, we try to, you know, stay to ourselves, stay focused, um, clear out all the outside noise, so to speak. I mean, if that's what you think, that's fine. Uh, we're going to see you. We'll see. We'll see this season, you know, with anybody, you know, who thinks that. Yeah, that was a point of emphasis. Um, um, that was a point of emphasis. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
there's a lot of things we we need to work on. But yeah, toughness was was one. I mean, me included. Um, just when things go wrong, or when things go good, um, just staying level headed and um, just pushing every play, every snap, you know, and you know not letting emotions get to you and stuff like that. That's what I believe. Um, you know, it's always in the back of your mind and stuff like that. You know, we think about it every day, but, um, you know, I'm taking one day at a time. We'll get there. We'll get there. The, it'll be that day and we'll get there. Um, no, they just, I don't, I don't think so. They, they just made some plays. They made plays and, uh, they made more plays than us. Um, but I don't think anything surprised us. They they just beat us that day. He's doing good. We're we're excited. Um, he's not he's not fully celebrating right now because they're still in season. He's still you know thinking about it and stuff like that. But you know he's excited. He's ready to get back on the field and you know hopefully he get on base or whatever. Oh, it was a dream come true. Everybody was crying, stuff like that. <laughs> um, it's a day that we've um, been looking forward to for a long time, and for it to come, you know, you know, it was just a blessing. I know how hard he's worked. I know how hard our family, uh, you know, people have pushed him. I know the things, you know, that a lot of people don't. So for him to, to do that, you know, um, our family was just real proud of him, and um, we know he's going to do great things. Um, winning a national championship will be big, um, you know, and getting drafted will be big and, you know, all those things. But, yeah, winning a national championship, I definitely. Nah. Um, sometimes it can be. I mean, it's it's literally whatever you want it to be. It's your mind. Um, it's a lot of stealing from other people and making it your own. It's a lot of um, just trying new, just trying whatever, um, and and going with what works. And and you know, just on the football field, you never know what you're gonna get. And you know, I was I was a great playground player. You know, back in my day, back in recess or whatever. So. You know, um, me and my brother, you know, we were, you know, we just, he he played quarterback back in the day and, you know, he got me right. So, um, yeah, just, you know, just try new things and you just see what's works. Mm. The last thing I watched, um, uh, Honestly, I've been watching the. Uh, it's not football, but I was. I've been watching the Derek Jeter documentary, and I just. I just take everything from everybody. That's great. Yeah, uh, just how he approached the game. Um, you know how he approached big moments. Um, how he approached you know these questions and you know the the media and just everything. Um, that's the last thing I watched, which was last Thursday. Um, but yeah <laughs> yeah yeah for sure okay okay right um they have a great defense um they run to the ball real well um they're very disciplined um they throw you know some good some some different looks at you that we're gonna have to be prepared for and um, we know, you know, they got a chip on their shoulder. They're, they're really good, and um, they have a great culture. So we got to be ready for that game. Uh, you know, I'm looking at the DBs, of course. I'm looking, you know, I'm looking at the, you know, line. I'm looking at the whole defense for real. Um, you know, they got some great players. Um, got some some big DBs, some some quick DBs. You know, all different types. So. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to trying to watch all of them for real. Uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be uh, what I think of Notre Dame first. Uh, they they have a great uh, culture, um, great school, great history, very rich, um, and it's just two tough teams just battling out under the lights in front of a hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know it's gonna be fun. Uh, you know a lot of people watching. You know I don't have to hype it up too much. You know the hype's gonna be there, um, but you know it means a lot. I mean our goal is you know. 15 straight, 15 straight weeks send a message, you know, each week. And uh, um, that's the first one. So we're looking forward to it. Yeah, um, one, studying them, uh, you know, get in, see what they, you know, like to do, uh, like I said. And then, you know, it's just all a mental, it's all a mental game for real, um, how you work. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, how are you working? Are you working like you want to be, you know, be a, be at SoFi Stadium or you work in just the work? So, you know, just having that attitude, I feel like the leadership, our leadership has stepping up um, um, overall in the, in the, on the whole team. So I feel like we're in a good space right now. I mean, I wouldn't mind it at all. Um, uh, like I said, they have a, a, a great program and a, and a great school. So, you know, if they decide to do that, that would be awesome. Um, I would love to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, My reaction to that, I mean... I mean that's what they that's what they like to do. So I guess that's what they do. I mean we we got some stuff like that, but um, I didn't really have a reaction, really. Uh, yeah, I mean we got some Notre Dame stuff, you know, around around the stuff. Um, they want us very familiar uh, with the teams we play. So yeah, there's a lot of you know faces of the team, you know, around and stuff like that. A lot of team up north stuff everywhere. A lot of a lot of schools. But yeah, those, that's the first game, so we're seeing a lot of Notre Dame stuff around around the weight room and stuff. Um, I don't know what I don't know what they'll do. Um, we'll be ready for for it all for real. Um, they have a good uh, great safety and uh, Brandon and um, big corner. Yep, yep, and you know we're looking forward to it.